And now, coming to you live from downtown Jackson, Volcano's 104th resident and host of LOL, Ed Tracy! Everybody. Yeah. Let's just do this for a little bit. It's very therapeutic. Welcome to Laugh Out Loud, everybody. My name is Ed Tracy. Show number 21. 21. We, yeah. I know. Longest running show on TSPN with the same host. Thank you so much. Uh, so we got a big show today, returning from two weeks of being off, uh, which is why there's um, not anybody standing behind Tom right now. And, uh, but we got, we got a good show today. We have, of course, um, two comics today. First off, uh, from Santa Cruz, Sam Weber, everybody. There he is. Give it up for Sam. Yay! Um, and um, I have a very special co-host today. I've known him his whole life. My son, Ashton, is going to be my co-host today. There he is. There he is. Hi. How are you? How, how's it growing up in my house? Story. Okay, we'll talk about that later. All right, we're gonna talk about. It. Don't say anything until I filter it. <laughs> and then, uh, returning veteran comedian, my good buddy Pete Munoz. Everybody, give it up for Pete. Woo! Woo! So, um, as you know, Supper Under the Stars was this last Sunday uh, in Volcano. Uh, almost 200 people dressed in white down the middle of the street. Tom, you were there. It's great. Great, it. great event. Great um, a lot of people that from out of town. I had no idea who they were. A lot of, lot of newbies, and uh, that's good, because that's really what it's all about, is bringing people into the community and, and into the county, and it was fun. It was fun. I got in a little bit of, a tro a little bit of trouble that night, but uh, I made it through, and uh, I noticed there's a lot of old people, older people that like to come out to events like that, and uh, that and the fact that my son is here making me feel even older, <laughs> I hate you, um, these jokes uh, that uh, we have are from folks that... Uh, brought up the fact that I'm looking older, which I really like. So uh, I'm going to read a couple of these. Where's my glasses? Dun, dun, dun. I'm back. Okay. I don't plan to grow, uh, grow old gracefully. I plan to have facelifts until my ears meet. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. You're welcome. Thank you so much. The only reason I would take up jogging is so that I could hear heavy breathing again. All right. <laughs> you get that one? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ray Hiller. Some of these are kind of funny. Regular naps prevent old age, especially if you take them while you're driving. <laughs> right. An archaeologist is the best husband a woman can have. The older she gets, the more interested he is in her. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Uh, this, actually, this is kind of funny. Old age is when you resent the swimsuit issue of Sports Illustrated because there are fewer articles to read. <laughs> That's nice. I've learned that life is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer it gets to the end, the faster it goes. <laughs> good, that's good. Okay. My grandmother was a very tough woman. She buried three husbands, and two of them were just napping. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, Tom. Um, I get these old jokes. This is a Rodney Dangerfield one. I like this one. I'm at the age where food has taken the place of sex in my life. In fact, I just had a mirror put over my kitchen table. <laughs> Actually, I'm at this age right now. True terror is to wake up one morning and discover that your high school class is running the country. Okay. A couple more, and then we're going to move on here. You can live to be 100 if you give up all the things that make you want to live to be 100. We didn't do that last night, huh, Pete? No, we did not. <laughs> this is a Jerry Seinfeld one. You know you're getting old when you get that one candle on the cake. It's like, see if you can blow this out. <laughs> right? Actually, be, funny thing, being 90 is just like being two. You can't blow out your candles. You don't know where you are. And all your friends aren't there. Yep. You're halfway there. Shut up. <laughs> 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 the first sign... <laughs> You'll learn this one. <laughs> I don't like you right now. Whatever. The first sign of maturity is the discovery that the volume knob also turns to the left. <laughs> hey, right, Mikey? You got a radio? You turn it loud? I don't even have a radio. Really? That's nice. Good story. Last one, and then we're going to move on. Talk about getting old. I was getting dressed, and, pe and a peeping Tom looked in the window, took a look, and pulled down the shade. Da -dum -da. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my co-host, Ashton Tracy. <laughs> Yay! I love you. Hi, pal. 
Eddie? I know. Why are you here? Um, I'm here for work. But... Yeah. And where are you working? I'm, I work with you. Where? At the Volcano Union Inn. Yay! Yay! One clap. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So, um, you're my oldest. Mm -hmm. That we know of, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you got me there. Uh, um, going to go to dental school, right? Yep. And uh, studying for, what's that test called? It's called the DAT, the Dental Assessment Test. Okay, when, so. are, you, when are you taking that? Um, I'll be taking that in December. Okay, so if you've ever taken that test or any test for any kind of medical thing, he shows up at my house with books that could stand this far apart. Stacks. Tons of them. Uh. Stacks. Even after work last night, you decided you were going to go study mm -hmm. while the staff of the union tore up my house. Yep. As did Pete and Sam. Actually, Sam was the voice of reason and went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Smart boy. Yeah. Smart boy. Uh, so how long is this test? Um, from what I heard, it's about anywhere between like five to six hours long. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a long one. That's it's a, a doozy. Freaking, freaking long <laughs> test. I don't even think uh, I've ever taken it. Well, the SAT is kind of long too, but not like that. I think so, yeah. Not, not that long. And that test, what, the, what does that do? Get you into what? Well, any dental school that you want to apply to, they want you to take this test because mm -hmm. they look at two things. They look at how good your grades are and then how well you score on the test. So that's basically what it is. You know, I was very smart in high school. Uh -huh. How long did you last in college? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> two days. <laughs> Worst two days of my life. I remember sitting in that class going, this is baloney. It's not the word I used. This is just like high school, and I got to pay to be here? Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm proud of you, pal. Well, thank you. Thank you. Is this going to cost me money? No. Really? Do it. <laughs> Do it. Anything you want. Do it. Okay. Uh, that sounds good. Cost me money. Um, so, as you can tell, one of our major sponsors, everybody, is Camps Propane. Here, hold that. Now, you know me like a book. What would I say to something like this? Got gas? <laughs> <laughs> if you need gas, everybody, call Camps. Ernie, nice guy. Um, they do my gas for my house, propane. You know you have to have propane. It's not like Sacramento where mm -hmm. like you have gas running through the house. It's a propane tank in the back. Mm -hmm. Looks like a giant 12-foot pill. Nice. It's big. Um, yeah, Camps Propane. Good guys over there, uh, over on Highway 88. Can't miss them. There's a giant, enormous propane tank outside and lots of trucks. Good people over there. They've been in the union many times. Uh, so give it up for Camps Propane, everybody. Make Woo! It Yay! I'm a fan of Camps Propane. This <laughs> catchy. Excuse oh. me. Get out of here. Um, so what stories can we tell about Ashton? <laughs> <laughs> Putting me on the spot. I know, huh? totally. Uh, you were kind of hyper when you were younger. A little bit. A little bit. I could say ADD like, like me. Like worse than me. Oh. Like taking you to church and acting up and... Oh my gosh. What was it that I said? What are you going to... I, mean, I had to drag you outside. <laughs> what are you going to do to me, Dad? What are you going to do to me? Right in the middle of... Uh... And Willa Taylor goes... <laughs> she's 90-something years old. She goes, beat him. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was well, good stuff. I deserved it. I was you a did. punk. Was I a good dad? Was mm -hmm. that good then? Yeah. Most I, of the time. I turned out okay, right? You did, really. For the most part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, you got a girlfriend now? Mm -hmm. No, I'm Not just right out now. here working, so don't get any ideas. <laughs> I got a girlfriend first. I've been here a year, pal. If you get a girlfriend anytime soon, I'm going to be pissed. I'm so ticked. It's hard to find women out here. That's what I hear. The ladies at the union like you, though. Oh, that's good. They do like you. That's good. Yeah, but they're all... Um, Married. They're married. Most of them. Most. Or have boyfriends. So, girls, stay away from my son. <laughs> but if you're looking, hey, we should double date. We've never double dated. You could date the mom. <laughs> How would we, I could date the daughter? <laughs> How would we start that you conversation? Have a cougar. How would we start that conversation? Father, yeah. Father, son, double date? That's a great idea. What yeah. could possibly go wrong? I can think of a couple yeah. things. <laughs> do you like older women? I do. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't want to call the mom or anything like that, but... <laughs> I, and I like them younger, so it works out perfect. You date the mom, awesome. you date the daughter. Awesome. And in Amador County, I, the mom's like 35, and the you know, daughter's like 32. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's great. Actually, Pete has a joke about that. It's going to uh, be good. Awesome. 
Yeah, sure. Just say yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, we have Pete, we're returning uh, veteran. Pete, how many times have you been here? Four or five times? Four times. Four times. Comedy twice. Comedy twice. We love him. Nice. We can love, love Pete. And Sam Weber, okay. who actually is a very funny dude. Very funny dude for a white guy. For a white guy? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fly for a white guy. Pretty fly <laughs> for a white guy. He's from Santa Cruz, and he doesn't even oh, look no. like a pot smoker. No. Doesn't at all. Mm -mm. Do you, uh, do you uh, smoke marijuana? Um... Oh, this is on TV? No. All right. <laughs> so we talk about it all the time. We, we, talk about, we talk about a lot of crazy things on this show. So um, one, one more funny story about you. Oh, great. Because you were so hyper, so hyper growing up. I mean, like, made me look calm. We're at, we're at Great America. We're going down the log flume. It's your mm -hmm. mother, bless her soul, wonderful woman, in the front. Your younger brother, Foster. You guys are young. Me and you behind me, right? Okay. Uh -huh. And Foster, Foster's holding on to your mother. You're holding on to me. And we're getting ready to go down. You're like, uh -huh. oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And what does your brother say? He's like, Whoo! <laughs> And now yeah. he won't go on Ferris wheels, which I find humorous. Who, Foster? Yeah, he won't do, he won't oh, do this. We'll really? get him in. He'll be back in September. We'll get that kid out here. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a short break, everybody. When we get back, comedian Sam Weber is going to take the stage. Right. Laugh out loud. Thanks Woo! for hanging out, everybody. High five. <laughs>